associated with the processing of vision. We as humans are really pretty much walking, talking, visual processing machines. Sometimes some concepts that we're presenting are a little bit too complicated. So it'd be nice to be able to simplify it into some simpler pictures. Well, I, I enjoy mind mapping a lot and I was really impressed by the simplicity that the napkin approach needs. Who has uh, bookkeepers to do the payroll? You know what I'm saying? And so they'll do the data entry, they'll also reconcile the output, which is violation of separation of duties. Well, the biggest thing I learned was that um, when you have a small uh, business that the IT environment is not so different from a large business in terms of the IT controls. There's only two ways to grow an economy. You either increase the number of people making stuff, and we've already factored this in. There's almost no way to change this number. We will be at record low levels of growth in the workforce. The only other way is to increase the amount of stuff each person makes. So what do you think you'll be doing differently next week as a result of what you've heard? Mm, that's a hard one. I think I'll, I'll probably be spending more time on forecasting and trying to understand uh, where things are at and maybe where they're going to be going. You have quite a few people who are enter who are boomers who are kind of entering into that beginning stage of the last, say, 10 years of their career, and we do need to transfer their knowledge. FASB has introduced a new standard that says when you face that condition, instead of trying to do a quantitative test on impairment, we will accept for you to do a qualitative assessment as to how much is your goodwill impairment loss. I like learning about the goodwill impairment and how the testing has changed on that, especially when you have a very odd situation, which in the past you wouldn't get a goodwill impairment, and now you will. Office 365, not to turn this into an extended conversation of Office 365, but it is a new service from Microsoft that gives you online access, that is hosted access, to email, including Outlook, as well as to Excel and Word and PowerPoint, <coughs> and also gives you a uh, hosted Exchange server and, and some other tools and also gives you a, a complete, fully licensed desktop copy of Office 2010. Anytime you go to a class by Tommy Stevens, you get something good. The most interesting thing was all the things I didn't know that are involved with software. And I think uh, Tommy told us how to do them, and I'm anxious to go back and try them. I contend that if you go back and look at a lot of the business issues where the controller or CFO was sucked into a problem, if you go back to the small, medium-sized firms where they missed something on a prior year tax return, they missed something on a prior year review, compilation, or audit, something that their peers would say, you know what, you should have caught that. What were you thinking? It's not that that gets them into trouble. It's the cover-up. This material was outlined very well. A lot of excellent slides. <laughs>